Have you ever wondered about the first recorded war in history? A question that takes us back thousands of years to the cradle of civilization itself, Sumer. Nestled in the fertile crescent of Mesopotamia, Sumer was a land of innovation and advancement. The Sumerians, originally the Ubaid people, were pioneers in many fields that shaped civilization as we know it today. They developed the Sumerian language, the earliest linguistic record we have, preserved in the indelible strokes of cuneiform writing. Their city-states like Eridu, Nippur, and Uruk were marvels of governance and order. And let's not forget their towering ziggurats and grand palaces, architectural feats that still inspire awe today. All these advancements set the stage for an event that would forever change the course of human history. This was the world before the dawn of warfare, a world where disputes were settled not with the sword or spear but with words and diplomacy. But as we know, this peace wouldn't last. Now let's delve into the heart of the conflict that marked the beginning of recorded warfare. So, what sparked the flames of this ancient conflict? The Sumerians, known for their advancements in various fields such as language, governance, and architecture, were not just a singular entity but a collection of city-states. These included Eridu, Nippur, Lagash, Kish, Ur, and Uruk. Each city-state was a political power of its own, and as is often the case with power, it wasn't long before tensions and rivalries began to simmer. In this cradle of civilization where the first linguistic records were being etched in cuneiform, power dynamics were shifting. Each city-state vied for control, for the prestige of being the leading force in Sumer. The tussle for supremacy led to growing tensions, with each city-state flexing its muscle and showcasing its might. It was a dance of power, a prelude to a clash that would echo through the annals of history. This was not a sudden spark, but a slow-burning flame, fueled by the ambitions and rivalries of these city-states. And as the flame grew, it set the stage for a conflict that would forever be etched in the annals of time. With the stage set for conflict, the first recorded war in history was about to unfold. As tensions reached a boiling point, the inevitable clash began. The ancient land of Mesopotamia, home to the Sumerian civilization, became a battlefield. The city-states, each with its own ruler and army, found themselves engulfed in a conflict that would rewrite the course of their history. The war was not a mere skirmish between two factions, it was a complex web of battles and strategies. The Sumerian city-states, known for their advanced knowledge of engineering and mathematics, employed these skills on the battlefield. They developed sophisticated strategies leveraging their understanding of the terrain and their innovative military technology. The war was a protracted affair lasting several years. The exact duration, however, remains a mystery, lost to the sands of time. Yet the impact of this war on the Sumerian civilization was profound. It drained their resources, disrupted their daily life, and led to a significant loss of life. But it also reshaped their society and governance, accelerating the shift of power from one city-state to another. The war was marked by key battles, each with its own tale of courage, strategy, and sacrifice. From the towering ziggurats to the fertile plains, every corner of Sumer bore witness to these epic confrontations. Yet in the end, there could be only one victor. Against the backdrop of devastation, a victor finally emerged. The city-state that managed to withstand the onslaught and outmaneuver its adversaries claimed the mantle of leadership, marking a new chapter in the annals of Sumerian history. But that is a story for another time. In the aftermath of war, one city-state stood victorious. The Sumerian city-state of Lagash emerged as the triumphant power, leaving the rival city-state of Uma in defeat. The consequences for Uma were dire, forced under the rule of Lagash, forever marked by the first ink of recorded warfare. But how do we know all this? Well, the Sumerians were meticulous record keepers. They etched their stories and conquests into clay tablets using a form of writing known as cuneiform. Over the years, archaeologists have unearthed these ancient narratives, providing us with a window into the world of the earliest civilizations. It is through these records and archaeological findings that we've pieced together the story of this first recorded war. But the legacy of this war extends beyond the city-states of Lagash and Uma. This conflict marked a pivotal moment in human history, setting a precedent for territorial disputes, power struggles, and warfare tactics that would echo through the millennia. 
The Sumerians, with their organized city-states and written records, laid the foundation for our understanding of warfare and its role in shaping civilizations. So the next time you delve into a historical war epic, remember the Sumerians who marked the beginning of recorded warfare in the annals of human history. If you enjoyed this journey into the dawn of conflict and found our deep dive into the origins of warfare informative and intriguing, be sure to give this video a like. Your likes not only show your support, but also help more people discover these fascinating narratives from our past. And don't just stop there, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this momentous period of human history. Do you have any questions or perhaps a different perspective on the first recorded war? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Your engagement enriches our community, sparking discussions and sharing knowledge. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we release new videos exploring more captivating chapters from our world's history. Your engagement helps us create more content like this, and we appreciate your support. Remember, history is a shared journey, and we're thrilled to have you along for the ride. Thank you for watching.